We support like 400 plus devices of all sorts. Typically that would be cameras, video switches, routers, replay systems or audio processors. And while they are the main reasons for buying our controllers, you will still fall in love with the fact that many more smaller things in your setup can be mixed in on your Skahoy devices. Like this Gouda PDU-A networked power switch. And this product can be both the very reason for having a Skahoy control panel to control it, or you can blend it in to another configuration such as on a switching panel or PDC control application. These are two rack units. And the first one here, which is a uh, rack fly, or sorry, rack pro one, is already configured to control this one. So it has a network cable coming into it, so an IP address, and also on top of it, I put a little lamp, and it's connected to the power output number one on this one. So when I press this button, you'll see the lamp turns on. When I press it again, it turns off. And you also see the wattage of what I am, the, the power consumption over here, the input voltage, the power consumption, how much power has been going through it, etc. Also over here, if I had multiple of these, I could actually select between them. That would be like a selector, but now I unfortunately have only one. But if I had more than one, up to five here, but even with this one as a selector, you could have unlimited pages of good power switches uh, selectable on, on these buttons here. So that's kind of how simple this is and we could stop the video if it wasn't for the fact that I want to show you how this can easily be applied to other panels as well. So the, the web UI you see in front of me is from the Rec Pro 1. The IP address of it is the one I've typed in here and I um, selected a configuration called Gude Rec Pro 1. You see that there are other configurations for this panel. It wouldn't be the only reason for buying it. So it can control ROS Talk, SWP08. These are router applications, so more like using these buttons for routing sources on video routers. We have vMix, Blackmagic, AJA, Kumo routers, etc. Okay. Over here we have the devices we are connected to, and you can see the Gude Expert Power Control 8045 with 12 outputs is the one we are connected to. It says connected, it has this IP address, and if I click that IP address, we go straight to this UI, where you can also see the state of these power switches. And that might lead me to showing you that there's perfect synchronicity between what I do on, oh yeah, so I just need to go here and turn that one off and on, and you see the panel and the switch and the web UI, it's all synchronized up, okay? Great. Now, the Rec Fly Uno. This is the blank config of this one out of the box. It tells me the IP address. I typed in that IP address here, and now I want to install the Gouda Expert Power Control Device Core, which is the piece of software it takes to connect to this one. So it has now installed itself, and I'll type in the IP address of it, which I remember to be this one. Crossing fingers, yes, it's connecting. It doesn't show anything yet because we need to configure which configuration are we gonna put onto it. And again, as you can see, it could be uh, now a configuration for a 4A video router is picked. And of course, it doesn't do anything useful with that until I select the Gouda Ragfly Uno configuration, which is the one that we have now selected. I need to do one additional step. Also select this one to be the actual switch that I connect to. And the reason for that is that sometimes you may have many more devices, cameras, video switches, than you actually want to use on a specific configuration. So therefore you need to take this step and that brings it onto the camera selector right there. Actually, if I did this multiple times, you'll see that I'm now populating my camera selector with even more choices of uh, PDUs. But now in this case, unfortunately, they are all the same. So it wouldn't really matter if I pressed any of them. But this is how, what it would look like if I had a whole rack of these over here. Now, let's go back to the actual demonstration again. And notice how these two are synchronous, even though they have two individual configure, uh, connections to the good power uh, switch over here. So I can turn on all the ports. I can also, using this button, uh, basically turn them all on or I can turn them all off by using this function that even requires a, um, a press to confirm that I want to turn them on or off. We have all the same readings uh, out of the panel right there. So 
uh, it should be obvious to you that either of these two panels would be perfectly fine as center stage controllers. All they are doing is controlling booted devices. But I wanted to show you that it's possible to also mix this in on other type of controllers. Uh, these are the only ones I brought today. So we'll just add a panel on, on this one, uh, Black, Black Fly Uno. And instead of picking a live panel, I'll uh, pick a, an Airfly Pro. Airfly Pro is one of our very popular switching panels. And uh, let's just check it out real quick here. Um, it basically looks like this. Uh, this is with a T-bar and buttons for switching. So you have preview and program and, and so on. And if we wanted to do any sort of stuff like that, we could just quickly see if there's an ATEM switch on my network. So let's just uh, put in an ATEM switcher here. I'm doing that right now. It's installing the software from our online repository. So it's downloading the software for the ATEM constellation. And in a short while, you'd see it is connecting. Yes, perfect. Now, um, uh, out of the box, by just adding this panel, uh, it selects an ATEM configuration. And the panel is only virtual inside the software. What it's missing is essentially an IP address. So if I had that panel with me, I'll just type in the IP address, you'll see the exact same. But if we go to the simulator, you'll actually see the panel and you'll be able to operate it. So now I'm switching on my ATEM switch, okay? Now, if we added the Gouda configuration as a so-called quick class, which is the easiest, quickest way for you to get configuration and management of this device in there. You'll just select it here, and now it becomes a part of that configuration in the upper left corner where we reserved space for it. So that button, that yellow button on the panel will basically bring it forth on these six buttons in the upper left corner of the panel. And now if I press and hold, You'll see that I'm turning on port number one, press and hold, I turn it off again. And basically it is so simple, this one, that it just has two pages for uh, eight outputs on one of these switches. So, and, and that's probably exactly what you want. You may not want to read out the, the power consumption or, or do anything more advanced than that. So um, this is just an example of how you can easily get that onto your switching panel. What if it was a PDC panel? Well, some of our PDC panels like the Extreme, the PDC Extreme has this as well. It depends a little bit on which panel, this one being uh, like a standard panel. And yes, let's just quickly find a camera. So I think maybe we have a CN700. Uh, some PDC camera come to me. Yes, that was a CN500, that's nice. Okay, let's just have that. It's now connected. We'll just add it up here. So real quick, if we have, um, this PTC Extreme in the view. I select the camera and now apparently we can control settings on this um, Canon camera, which is on our network. So that's all great. Uh, we have all in place for that. Now, what I wanted to show is that out of the box, there's like no quick class configuration option for the PTC Extreme configuration here, but that's because we need to pick a different one called PTC, uh, generic PTC control with video switching in which case we have actually made configuration uh, provisions for also adding a quick class for the Gouda power switch on that one. So if I go back to the simulator, you will see that um, apart from having my, oh yeah, okay, now I changed that config. I also need to add cameras and uh, just pick that real quick. Yes. And please, if we can bring that into my main view, I can select my camera here, but mixed up with that, we have six buttons on this right side of the panel, which is now my power switches that I can operate like this. So this, this is the space allocated for having quick class configurations on the PDC Extreme. I really find it so exciting how you can mix and match devices on Skahoy controllers. And if you feel the same, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because we are gonna bring out much more content on how you can use our vast variety of controllers to control all kinds of devices. Of course, you can follow us on social media as well. You can subscribe to our newsletter for updates and you can find links to all these resources below in the description. And anytime you wish to interact with us, feel free to reach out for our sales and support team.